guys, I am Shaf with Polygon Gaming. You're watching a daily cast. Today we've got an epic Zerg vs. Terran for you guys. It's going to be looking at the meta as a whole, some recent changes that we've been seeing in it, and reactions for both players that uh, may have implications in this new ladder uh, season. So anyways, here on the bottom right hand side of Abyssal Reef, playing for Team Dick Picks, I mean Dead Pixels, it's Namshar! He is going for a hatch first, into gas, into pull build. We'll see if he pulls two guys off this extractor uh, once Metabolic Boost starts. That will tell us a huge portion of what he's planning in this game. In any case, on the top of the left hand side of Abyssal Reef, playing for Team Cascade in the Red Terran Trunks, it's Kaz! Now, Kaz is a player known for a very conservative, safe playstyle. He typically opens very, very safe. Um, and this allows him to do really well in, uh, in like best of ones and such, where all ends and stuff are very common. His most common practice environment, in fact, is a ladder. And you typically see that out of him. However, with a reactor factory opener, I am highly, highly uh, suspicious that he may be going for a Hellion opener that's becoming more and more popular. Players like Innovation really pushing that sort of style. So we'll see if that's the case um, and what Namshar wants to do about it. Anyway, some nice little Ling and Reaper Micro. Doesn't look like any kills so far for either side. Very, very good. This is what you expect at this high level. And we've got the Queens popping out now for Namshar, and it looks like he's going to continue mining quite a bit uh, from that gas after the, the Metabolic Boost. This could indicate a fast layer play, maybe some kind of Spire, or even, uh, you know, some kind of uh, Roaches, which is getting to be more and more popular, because as you see, this is a Hellion opener, as we suspected. Stargate gonna start port rather following that up. This could be like a Liberator, a Banshee. Ravens, though, tending to be the most popular right now. And yeah, Rotor I'm gonna be completing. Yeah, this is very, very important. Um, Namshar. Oh, he's making eight roaches. This is actually not gonna be very good for cause because um eight roaches, this is pretty much more defense than you need and the fact that there is no third base over here also yeah this says some kind of roach maybe roach ravager all in not sure in any case <laughs> believe it or not cause is opening for with an armory he's already got a medevac um so he's doing some kind of hellbat opener maybe a hellbat drop into the main i'm not sure in any case uh that's pretty damn effective but not against a roach all in so uh both these players playing super aggressive on abysmal reef but it's just not gonna matter just not gonna matter anyways here we go the first engagement the roach is getting uh two free shots off on a lot of those hellions the first one dies the rest of them are about half hp and the roaches and the lings are swinging on in here there's not a solid wall off here yet for cause and it looks like he's gonna be forced to wall off with the hellions and they're gonna be morphing into hellbats uh, only three of them left as they complete the hellbat transformation and it looks like the scv is trying to get pulled in here to help do the repairs but just not in the nick of time two hellions are uh you know doing some work on the um, Lings, but Lings getting pulled back, Roaches and Ravagers, uh, forcing that opening open, and the, uh, Medivac can force the lift and try to get on the hard tight wall that is the top of this ramp, but unfortunately the SCV is not pulled the right way, and that reactor is going to fall, it looks like the Lings and the Roaches and the Ravagers are going to be swinging right on in there, Ravagers really making all the difference in this fight, you can see the SCV scared to stay in one position for too long, which means repairs are going to be very, very hard to do, now we've got some of the SCVs being pulled off the line to deal with with the links, links really the backbone of the economic damage here, and it looks like Kaz is going to have to tap out because he is down to only seven workers. The cyclones do come out, but uh, a <laughs> little bit too late. I think what this really came down to was the engagement down here. Um, not having this wall off and choosing to fight here was a mistake for Kaz, in the fact that. A lot of the Hellions were forced to leave or die, and they chose to die, but they died before they got Hellbats. Had the Medivac picked up or the Fast Hellions just ran that way, yes, any SCVs here would have died, but this could have been lifted. Stay in the fight here with more units, 
and you know hellbats would have finished by then you'd have had more of them blah 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 that would have been a really strong decision point for Kaz but Namshar felt the blood in the water he knows that this Hellion style is becoming more and more popular and if Ravens had been the follow-up instead of like this Hellbat with the medevac this also would have done very well against it but not quite as well as it did here. This was an ideal situation for Namshar. This was blind luck. This was a roll of the dice, guys. Hope you enjoyed this cast. I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. Please, uh, if you have the available cash, $1 donations on Patreon help this channel so much. You can get a link in the description. There are some great rewards if you choose to donate more than that, but just $1 from everyone who watches this video would go to make our dreams come true. What are our dreams here at Polygon Gaming? We want to run more StarCraft events for this community. Right now we're run averaging about one a month. We've got the Patreon backing to do about one every three months. So we're getting kind of uh, the mathematics and stuff and the logistics worked out. But the more donations we can get on Patreon, the more we're going to be able to provide for you guys. There's also our event coming up June 3rd. That's only about a week and a half away, guys, between Ryung and Classic. It's going to be a best of seven. We've already put $75 in the Masterino prize pool. Hopefully you guys will want to add a little bit to that as well. In any case, I hope to see you guys tomorrow where we'll begin looking at another daily cast. See you then. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.